TV, a weekly web show dedicated to helping the average Joe and Jane like me learn and appreciate wine just a bit more each and every episode from an expert sommelier like Mr. Kichek. What's our motto? If you learned one geeky wine tipper episode, Jeff, we've done our job. Correct mundo. All right, Mr. Kichek, so what's today's show about? Today's topic is all about aerators, the nice, quick, little, easy ones that people like to kind of cheat on. Well, so cheating, because I know that you use those, um, where, here. Well, you can use a decanter and pour the wine directly into the decanter if you're using a young tannic wine. You just set it in here over time, give it a spin, more surface area, more Contact. exposure to the air, yeah. So what's the difference with these other aerators? Well, th these are like smaller little cheaters almost, you'd say. So they they make it so you can drink the wine faster? Well, they, they allow, they give more air, they inject more air into the wine at a quicker, in a quicker period of time, allowing more of those flavors and aromas to um, open up. So, the wine. so that's what aeration does, right? It, it lets the, the wine get warmer and expose, you know, bring yes. about its, its um, softens the profile, without, lowers the tannins. Well right? said. Okay, <laughs> not really. So what wines benefit most from aeration? Typically young red wines. Uh, white wines don't need to worry about too much. Mostly young red wines, higher tannin levels, appreciate a little bit more aeration. Jeff, how exactly is this supposed to work? All right, so each of, each of our testers is gonna get 10 glasses of wine. Five sets of two, which one will have aer uh, an aerator, have gone through an aerator, the other one will have not. Okay. And then they write their scores down, they write their ratings down on these scorecards. Take notes. Yep, they take notes, and then ultimately... Um, and they can't discuss this with each other. Total silence, right? Yep, they've got a, there's no influencing each other, and the other thing is that we don't want them to swirl. We want them to pick the glass up as it is, taste it, write their score down, and we'll move on to the next one. Cool. So that's how it's gonna go down. That should work nicely. All right. The wine I've chosen for this little experiment is the Hess Black 19 from Mount Veeder. Um, it's a big, burly blend of a whole bunch of different grapes. It's a 2006, so it's still fairly young. Got some good grip, full-bodied, pretty juicy. What's it got in it? It's got uh, Cab, Malbec, Syrah, Petit Verdot, Cab Franc, so it's got a little bit of everything. It should work nicely with some aeration. Okay, I think we're all set up. We're ready for the ladies. They're gonna come in and be our testers. Oh, ladies, bring a corkscrew with you, won't you? <laughs> hey! Now to tally the results. Well, Jeff, that was a blast. Yeah, it was. What were um, the results there, finally? Uh, they're inconclusive. Really? Well, well so we'll post the, the, uh, the results out on the web page. But most of the people picked A. The altered wine, the aerated wine, was always A, right? Yep. yep. Most people put A. However, we did one that what? Wasn't we didn't do anything. Didn't do anything with, and then one that we just spun, and they also picked that one. Right. Well, even on the one, yeah. Even on the one we didn't do anything, they said they, they tasted a difference, so. True. Not sure what that means, but we'll post it out there. Love to have you provide your insights into your area if you have one. 
bad or good, go out onto our website, please provide your comments out there, or you can do it on Facebook, because we have yep. a Facebook fan page and a discussion board there, so you can do it there as well. Follow us on Twitter. Yeah, follow us on Twitter too, so. Him on Twitter more than me. Special thanks to uh, Lisa, Martin, and Kristen, who provided the aerators for us. Yeah. And uh, special thanks to... Zips Liquors in historic Minneapolis that, su that uh, supplied all these wines for this thing, and it actually took a few bottles to get yes. through all this. So thank so you, Zips. Thank you, Zips. Thank you, Sommelier, and thanks to our testers, uh, awesome. Luann, Sue, and Charlotte. They did a great job. So uh, until next time, see you on Nova.